All right, guys, Rowdy Yates, High Plains Biochar. As you can see, we're here in Laramie, Wyoming. It is uh, definitely winter. It is here. We've got uh, snow on the ground. I think it was about eight degrees here last night. Um, and we're going to sh show you guys how you can heat a greenhouse while making biochar with one of our Boulder biochar barrels. So come on in, I'll show you. All right, guys, so we're back in the greenhouse here. And what I want to show you guys is what we started with is one of our Boulder biochar barrels. Um, these are really simple to use, uh, really great way to heat your greenhouse. One of the challenges is, is heating the greenhouse overnight uh, where you can get, you know, eight, 10 or 12 hours of heat. And so what we've done here is we've taken a Boulder biochar barrel and we've added several thousand pounds of concrete pavers around it to basically to be used as a thermal mass. And what this does is it takes time to heat this all up and then overnight the heat is released from all this concrete and it keeps your greenhouse warm. It makes it really, really easy to keep a greenhouse warm overnight without having to tend to a fire for about 12 hours through the middle of the night. So um, as you can see here this morning, it is, uh, let's see, it's 21 degrees here in the greenhouse right now. And we're gonna warm, the, warm it up and we're gonna run for 24 hours just to kind of give you guys an idea of how this really works. So uh, first up, we have our kegs that we filled up. One of them here has wood chips in it. And then the other one we're gonna do uh, with some of the kind of a variety of materials here. What we've got, we've got some sawmill waste that we use a lot. So we're gonna just throw a little bit of that in there. Um, and then we've also got some corn stalks and some uh, sunflower stalks that we're, that we're gonna throw in here. So here's some corn stalks, some sunflower stalks that we've chopped up into some smaller pieces. I'm gonna go ahead and throw all that stuff in there. And this just goes to show you that you can use just about anything to make biochar with. You can use coffee grounds in here, you can put manure in here, you can put sticks and branches. Uh, from tree thinning projects, you can take things like construction waste, two by fours and two by sixes, all those ends and pieces that are left over for construction projects. Um, you can put bone in here. So you can put literally just about anything. Uh, okay, so the next step is we're going to go ahead and put our caps on here and load these guys into our boulder biochar barrel. So our next step is we're going to go ahead and load these guys into the stove. That one goes in. It's pushed all the way to the back to make space for this one. Scoot them back forward just a little bit to make sure that we get some airflow there around the back side. And all right, guys, so we've got our kegs loaded in here. We've got a little bit of wood just to kind of get the fire started, and uh, we're going to go ahead and light this off. Go ahead and open our air. Get air to the fire. Now, we'll uh, check back in with you here in a few minutes. All right, guys, I want to do a quick follow-up with you. It's now 84 degrees. It's been a couple hours here. We've been uh, running the Boulder Biochar barrel, but we've heated it up from, I think, around 15 degrees to 84. So, now all this thermal mass is getting nice and warm. It's still not completely hot just yet. Some of these parts are, they're warm, but they're not hot. So, it'll still take us a little while, but we're going to go ahead and swap out these kegs and put in some fresh material to make some more biochar. Okay guys, we've pulled our kegs out. So in here we've got our biochar. So what I like to do is just add a little bit of water to kind of quench the biochar before we dump it out of the jug. Okay. All right, so in, after that, we just give it a shake. Go ahead and dump it out over here in our bag. This is the one that had our larger pieces, including corn stalks and whatnot in it. All right, so now all we gotta do is reload our kegs and start the whole process over. 
All right, guys, we've got our kegs reloaded. The fire's still going, so we're going to go close this up and make our next batch. All right, guys, it's the next morning. We're here out in the greenhouse. Uh, everything's cooled back off. Heat's, the concrete's still a little bit warm, but it's released most of its heat overnight. Kept things above freezing here. And now we're just going to pull out these kegs. And uh, we ended up doing four batches total. So we should have somewhere in the neighborhood of about 10 gallons of biochar total here. Because these have cooled down, you don't have to quench them. And that's it. So we kept the greenhouse warm for 24 hours. We made a little over 10 gallons of biochar. And uh, we used the thermal mass uh, around our Boulder biochar barrel to uh, help keep the heat around overnight so we didn't have to keep tending the fire overnight. But that's how easy it is to use the Boulder biochar barrel to make biochar and heat your greenhouse.